Hello. Hello. How are you? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Anyways. So, um, I wanted to keep up this, you know, groove thing, this uh, wave thing, this, uh, uh, you know, whole uh, trying to get spirits up here and all that other good things. And, you know, um, and if uh, I'm doing it for myself, maybe I can do it for somebody else, too. Anyways. Um, so, uh, let's keep with the Canadian theme for just a day. Uh, Yellow Cat, I believe it was you who asked about a bass. We'll do that tomorrow. I actually have two of them. Um, so I'll, I'll try and break those out tomorrow and uh, practice the one song that I loved, which I kind of brought the bass for, and uh, see if I can actually play it by tomorrow because I haven't been able to yet, but we'll try. Anyways, um, but it, back into the like blues groove thing and the Canadian uh, thing, there's a, a lady. I don't know if y'all remember, her name is Alana Miles, and she had a, a hit with a song called Black Velvet a long time ago. Um, Mississippi in the middle of the dry spell. I do better just playing instead of trying to get words out of my mouth while I'm doing this. Anyways, that's just one of them grooves, you know. I just kind of love that that. That blues kind of, you know, getting into that, you make your own percussion thing. <laughs> Trivia question. Do you know if you're taking a long trip and you're, you want to stay awake, what music should you listen to? Brain studies have been done and classical music. Rock and roll has a 4-4 beat, which is constant over time. So you're listening to the same thing over and over and over again. If you want to listen to rock and roll, listen to heavy metal. Heavy metal has more changes than regular old rock and roll. Um, and it tends to get you, you know, uh, your brain going up and down, up and down. That's why classical music with all the changes in it, with the changes in time and meter and everything, it just, it, it messes with your brain. So it keeps your mind active more and it keeps your, it, and you're not even thinking about it. It's, uh, these things were done, uh, you know, studies that were done about this stuff and um, you're not even aware of what's going on in your brain. It just, it, it happens because you're, it's in the background and you're listening to it. And your mind is going, hey, what's going on over here? So, you know, it just kind of keeps track of it. And when the when the, the time or the meter, you know, the, the beat changes, your your mind goes, that's interesting. And keeps it kind of like, you know, kind of like uh, in um, in uh, I, the IT world, uh, if you want a website to stay up, there there are these little things called, we call them keep lives. And it's just a little little program to, uh, to every once in a while go, hey, keep alive, you know, um, so that it, your the program stays up. And it, it basically fools the uh, the website or whatever into uh, thinking that you just did something on it so that you are you keep it alive. Um, so, you know, same thing, I guess. Or I don't know what I'm talking about because I just lost my entire train of thought, which is what happens with the whole chemo thing and all that other stuff. So, you know, it'll come back at some point. But uh, hopefully I said something good. Anyways. I hope you all is having a great day. Um, I'm here, to hopefully, to 
You know, I, I might have been, Lou Gehrig, I might have been given a bad break, but I got an awful lot to live for, and I believe that. I do have an awful lot to live for, and I, uh, I'm hoping that I can, you know, maybe lift some spirits here with, uh, with my attitude or whatever you want to call it, this thing that I'm, you know, me being me. Anyways, I hope you all are having a great day. Always look up. He's there for you, and uh, I'll see you then. Peace.